So let's do Clifford, okay? okay. Because I'm going to be very quick about this. Basically, now this I'm hoping is going to be the movie of the week. I want to read you this, okay? Clifford the Big Red Dog is a wonderful. It's a sixty foot red hound. Yeah, and the reason he's a sixty foot red hound, if you're not up to speed with the TV series, is um, that basically Emily loved Clifford, and she loved him so much that Clifford started to grow. This is all in the backstory of the TV series. If you have young kids, you'd know this anyway. Clifford then got so big that Emily's family actually had to leave home. So already Clifford has made them homeless, and they have to move out to the country. But that, in case, that's a good thing. It's all in the song. Clifford needs did Emily. Da, da, da. Anyway, it's very nice. And so the deal is here, yeah, don't look at me like you don't know that song. You may not know who Ron Jeremy is, but you know who Clifford the Big Red no, Dog is, like, so don't give me that look. The idea, that, the idea that people <laughs> tune in at this time to hear you sing, of course, is completely misplaced, but anyway, carry on. Okay, fine. So, in this movie, Clifford basically goes off to join a, a travelling circus carnival thing because he's worried that he's costing the family too much in uh, dog food expenses, and he has some adventures. I want to read you this because this is from somebody's written onto the Internet Movie Database, a very concerned thing, which entirely uh, chimes with what you were saying, that your problem was that kids no longer have movies with no peril. This is their summation of it, and I think this is very fair. This is from a guy called uh, Raymond in Chapel Hill in North Carolina. This is a film that contains no bad guys, good. no raunchy, kiddie fair toilet humour, oh, no violence, and finally no situation of trouble that is anywhere to be found, which makes this a breath of fresh air. Of course, some of the characters, human or canine, do unkind things, but there are only a few moments of worry and they disappear very quickly. Oh, that is great. actually, I think, a perfect summation of the film. Obviously, you're not going to go see it for Incredible-style zip-zang-boom animation, but it's nice and gentle and sweet and harmless and a little bit dull, but, but you know, not in a bad way. I mean, I, I like the Clifford TV series. I can't see myself crossing the road for the movie having, you know, it's, it's fine, it's 74 minutes, it came, it went, but I was thinking all the way through of you that there is At no last. situation film. of even mild peril. But, though rather disconcertingly, some people do unpleasant things. Well, they're not that unpleasant. Well, how, how unpleasant No, I know, it's, it's, look, it's like, it's exactly like the thing, why do you have to have monsters in Harry Potter? Because otherwise nothing happens. Well, people can do nice things. Well, they do generally do nice things. Well, what things. nasty things happen I'd in say, it's somebody worried, somebody no. is borderline cr No, it's not even borderline cr they, Things happen in order to make the film. Go see the film, okay? I guarantee okay. I will make you a bet now. Shake my hand. I make you a bet of a fiver that there is nothing, nothing that you would find even mildly perilous. It's not a question of me, it's a question I of the know. five year old, you yeah. know. Uh, Jonathan asks Is Clifford in the original American or English accent? It's John Ritter. So that would be American, yeah. then. I'm not sure if Jonathan's going to be uh, a fan of that, but anyway, that's Jonathan Bird's question. And he, Sorry. Um, okay, it's so if, last you, movie, I think. if you've seen uh, if you've seen uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog, let us know if there is anything that's slightly nasty because it does help to be. No, it's there's not these. slightly. What do you mean if you've seen? The, the, I sat through the wretched thing. I'm. Why don't you trust me? Experienced, dear okay, boy. Fine. Uh, oh yeah, no, sorry, I forgot. There's a scene in which he's disemboweled with a chainsaw. It just slipped my oh, mind. Sorry, the nunchuck. Sorry, should have said. That's in there. Is there no exorcist scene in it? Yeah, there's that as well. Yeah, yeah. And funny. then there's the whole burning at the stake thing. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, as you were. I knew if I probed long enough, we'd get there. 